Check this out. Red Mountain Kitchen in Kennewick is partnering with the WSU Master Food Preservers for some summer canning classes. Our Rio Barber got a taste of it herself, and she joins us now to take a look. Hey, we're out here at Red Mountain Kitchen where they're having summer canning classes with the pros. I'm joined with one of them now, Christine McKinnon. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. She's going to teach us how to make some apple pie filling. I am so excited. First, we're going to start with some nice Washington apples. Okay. And then we're going to peel them and slice them and dice them. So we only need three and a half cups. Right. If you have a lot of them, we're oh. only making one quart today. <laughs> this is an apple peeler slicer, and it pulls Heavy a lot duty. at one time. Yeah. There you go. Does it matter which one? Both of them are fine? The Both. The green and the red? Green and the red. Uh, the green is a Granny Smith apple. It's a little tart, adds a little crunch, and keeps its shape. This other one I'm using today is a Gala, but there are other varieties you can use. Apple pies taste better with a lot of different kinds of apples in them. Nice. One of the important things with canning is it's an exact. It's not a cooking, it's a science. So we want to measure things exactly. How much sugar? This recipe is calling for three-fourths cup plus two tablespoons. This is three-fourths cup of apple juice and a half a cup of water. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. This is going to keep your apples from turning brown. The last thing we're going to add is something called clear gel. There's instant clear gel and cooking clear gel. This is the cooking one. This is the only thickener approved for canning because it doesn't break down in the canning process. We're going to boil this until it's thick. So you can either keep peeling or you can stir. <laughs> I like stirring. <laughs> There's some Good utensils job. right there. We'll give you a look at how this yep. apple pie filling turns out. So stay tuned. But for now, we'll toss it back to you. Thanks so much, Rio. They have three more available classes coming up on August 29th. They'll be canning to, uh, tomato salsa on September 5th, tomatillo salsa, and on September 9th, antipasto mm. relish. We have a link to sign up on our website, yaktrynews.com. They all sound delicious.